Hi folks, uh, once again, welcome to Hermit's Rest. Uh, I'm old enough to remember uh, the beginning of the information age. And, uh, you know, a lot of us thought, wow, hey, information, the exchange of information, that, that's pretty cool. And uh, it is, and it was, it, you know, it still is to some degree. But um, more and more, uh, what I find, and I'm sure you, you do too, that it's uh, the information age of deception. Deception is, <laughs> deception is running rampant. <laughs> you got to be careful. It's coming and it's just going to get you. And it will. If you don't apply critical thinking, and critical thinking has been around for years. Uh, Lori just came in a couple of hours ago and said, hey, look, here's a book called uh, Raising Critical Thinkers. Uh, it's in our local library. Uh, got some books on critical thinking. If you're going to read about something, uh, do that. Because critical thinking is the only thing that is going to pry our eyes away from the propaganda so that we can take a brief moment away from being inundated while all, what, from all of this data and information bombarding us on a regular basis on who to be, what to be, all of those stuff. Um, if anybody's watched a few of my videos, I always say, hey, spend some time in solitude. Get to know who you are, and then go where you belong. And uh, if you don't do that, and there's a lot of us out there that don't, um, we don't know where we belong, so we kind of wander around. But it's the deception. And what is, what's the thing that's propagating deception? What I've found is, is, is it seems to be profit-based. I guess that's just obvious in many ways. Um, I'm going to use this platform, YouTube, uh, as an example. What a heck of a platform for the exchange of information. And since I've started this channel, I've been on YouTube a little bit more. And... Uh, you know, in hopes of finding other, you know, kind of neat channels and encouraging people, and liking them and subscribing, all that other stuff. But what I'm finding, and I'm sure you are too, or others are, more and more is uh, the classic, what they call clickbait and deception and techniques that are only utilized to get you to click on the thumbnail, thumbnails so that you click on them, and titles, and then I'm going to tell you a secret at the end of this video. I'm going to tell you how to make a million dollars and live happily ever after. Stay tuned. Wait, it's only been three and a half, uh, three and a half minutes. You know, because most of the time we don't follow the end of uh, most videos that we watch. My videos, um, I find that uh, people watch maybe three quarters of them or whatever. So I'll come up with something at the end that, that I like a lot, that I want to share. And it's dawned on me that, that, that most people don't see it. Um, I personally don't care about that. I'm not using, as I've mentioned in past videos, I don't care about YouTube algorithms, and I'm not here to get rich or get attention. I, I, I don't really care. And uh, But I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you posted if anybody's interested. But um, uh, so what do you do? I'm finding it harder and harder to find channels that are that are really actually interesting to watch. I mean, I don't think my channel is all that interesting to watch. Some old fart hermit up in the hills that just rambles on. I don't know. I have a few 
people, obviously, that I guess must. And if I only had five subscribers and five people that actually listened to anything I'd say, I'd be honored. And I might continue just for that. I've gotten some wonderful comments with some grand people. And um, so uh, that's more than I would have, you know, ever expected. And, uh, but it's sad because what happens is YouTube's algorithm only shows you or brings up videos in your feed or whatever they call it based on what you previously watched, like, or, or subscribed to. Um, search is almost pointless. Uh, and um, so while it's probably a really good system, the algorithm, for managing 52 million channels and keeping track of it all, it's quite a wonderment that the thing even works. Um, it's sort of sad if you're trying to look for real stuff. Um, you get, uh, oh, Van Life sucks, and uh, Van Life is great, and all this other stuff. But you go and you look at these, you click on these things, um, and they're not there. Am I the only one? <laughs> Am I the only one that's having this problem? Even having been a, re a retired uh, engineer, it was when we were using slide rules, not, not calculators. So... I could just be kind of behind and how to use technology. I don't know. I read my channel's analytics, and a lot of it doesn't make any sense to me. But what I do primarily is um, I check the the, 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 the stats uh, fairly regularly, and not because I'm anticipating or looking or hoping that it's building or all that. Um, I do it so that I can comment back on the people that have commented, because I think that's uh, that's a courtesy that that's only that's only right. Plus, I've had some really great comments that share a lot of wisdom. And so I don't know what, I don't know what you do, but I know that first of all, you got to apply critical thinking, and that basically involves questioning everything. We so often are inundated with all this data, but we never question it. And by the way, this deceptive stuff is not just uh, on platforms like YouTube or whatever. It's in the news. Uh, Lori came across a, uh, a prominent news station that's, <laughs> that says, man attacked, worker attacked by Tesla robot, the humanoid robot. And so we had just seen some videos on Tesla's robot, nothing compared to... Uh, uh, the one that uh, the robot manufacturers are making in uh, Boston, um, which are pretty phenomenal. And I said, oh, Lori, don't even bother looking at that. It's just some worker that got, <laughs> got caught up by one of those robotic arms that moves stuff around or assembles cars. But she, she looked into it anyway, out of curiosity, rightfully so. And that's what it turned out to be. Is uh, some fool programmer, you know, turned off some machines, stepped into the middle of them, and left one on, and it, it went into motion, and, uh, you know, it didn't really attack him, and it never did say how badly it damaged him. But anyway, sensationalism. Damn, we live in a world of hysteria. Wow, I mean, you know, maybe I see it a little bit easier, because, you know, I'm sitting up here, I'm not absorbed by it because I'm not in it. So maybe I've already got, a, you know, by being a hermit, I've got a bit of a, an edge on only seeing it really through uh, media, uh, internet stuff. Um, and I'm not distracted by actually rubbing elbows with it in actuality. <clears throat> and if that's the case, then I can, you know, give you some insights on uh, the silliness. Um, and I have a few people that enjoy those insights, and maybe it helps them. Um, <clears throat> then I'll continue. But uh, it's sad. A lot of uh, misinformation and, and deception. And it's in all fields. It's in all areas. Um, uh, Off-grid living is really filled with it. Um, <clears throat> even more so than van life. 
<coughs> people, excuse me, people. Oh, I found this. <coughs> 40 acres. And um, I don't edit these videos, so I can't knock out coughing. I got a, I got a little, I got a little app downloaded. Pause camera. Oh, hell yeah, it really works. It was free because I refused to pay for this. <laughs> but the video quality was worse than my normal video quality, which is saying a lot. But at any rate, um, when you're watching these channels, just be careful. And keep in mind that if you click and subscribe, because the sad thing that really alarms me is how many of these silly, deceptive channels, thumbnails and channels, and video titles that are deceptive and nonsense um, are getting followers uh, or subscribers, likes and comments. Um, it's only sad simply because I guess what I'm seeing is, is that people are buying into this deception, you know? Um, and I wonder about that sometimes, you know? I wonder what, 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 why is that, you know? But we have to realize that within the human species, there's, you know, a subspecies. Uh, some people are foolish, and they'll always be foolish. Some people are highly intelligent, they'll always be intelligent. Some people are mediocre, they'll always be mediocre. I don't know. You know, um, you know, and so maybe there's no hope, um, with why uh, the deception is propagated and continues and is supported. That's the sad thing, it's supported. Um, but you gotta question things. And what you do <clears throat> is you question something. You're looking for proof. You're looking for factual evidence. Then you weigh that out. And then you're able to come to a conclusion. I heard one time in in the talk. I've heard talks with uh, uh, online talks with uh, Elon Musk. Quite a few of them. I don't usually click on them. I don't particularly care for the individual. Um, he's cluttering up my night sky. He's cluttering up your night sky with his damn satellites, which are really pretty much useless um, in many ways. Just do some research on what Starlink is really all about. So the, so confusing and expensive and quasi reliable that uh, I don't look into it don't just believe in in the hype I personally use Viasat and I'll tell you why it's basically one satellite dish and uh, one modem and about five different plans that are based on uh, how many gigabytes you want to use uh, Starlink I just saw recently has got something like you know five different types of dishes ranging from five hundred and sixty dollars to two thousand and they got a myriad of plans about oh you can be on priority you can be on that ranging from 120 dollars a month to something like 250 dollars a month or more and the thing that i find fascinating is is that biosat satellite is i believe at about twenty three thousand miles from the Earth. Starlink satellites, I think, are 354, and it takes uh, 30 minutes for your satellite dish on Starlink to find the satellites. And I just checked on mine this morning uh, for, for my satellite dish to hone in on the, 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 the satellite that's uh, 23,000 miles away. Five minutes. You know. I thought this whole, you know, Musk uh, corporation or whatever was supposed to be so brilliant. Uh, you know, what's that all about? I heard him once say, oh, you know, Tesla, the best uh, automobile out there, the best made. Oh, bullshit, Elon, come on. I mean, we all know that it's not. Uh, you've just had something like 124,000 uh, recalled because the door is open and, and auto accidents, and it's probably just... I would assume even just fender benders. 
I remember when they first came out, people buying Teslas and saying, you know, the doors are not, you know, it's just not, the quality is not there. Oh, you know, the, the technology with some of the software might be fascinating, but even that is not all that super slick and it fails and it's nonsensical. I think EV vehicles are silly. I mean, what, what, you know, you got to plug them into a charging station. That's the grid, you know? And the grid consists of using natural gas, coal, oil, or nuclear energy. <clears throat> so what are you gaining? The grid was having problems with uh, keeping up on hot days with the air conditioners. Now we've got air conditioners running and people plug plugging in their electric vehicles. Uh, so, I don't know, why hasn't that ever come out? You know, the electric, they're cool. I work with electric stuff. Um, Years ago, as a medical engineer with with electric wheelchairs, fascinating stuff, neat motors and all that other stuff. But as far as vehicles and, and, and such, it's beyond me. Saw a video recently about Jay Leno in Jay Leno's garage, and he's got the, the designer and the, the engineer behind the Cybertruck, and he's ranting and raving about how cool it is, and he's driving him around and such. And he goes off-road, kind of goes into a little gully, and then then comes out and they're talking about the consistent torque and all this other stuff. And then Lori, the next day, comes across the news article with a video showing a cyber truck stuck in, in minor snow being pulled out by a Ford F-150 pickup truck. So you gotta, you got to look at stuff. you got to use critical thinking. If you don't, you're going to get carried away into, out to the sea, you know, you're going to get carried away with hysteria out to the sea of despair. And um, you're not going to, it's going to be a hard life, it's going to be a hard life, you know. That's why on my stuff I try to show you know, the real deal. I posted a little short, they got a couple thousand views, much to my amazement, about the muddy roads and and just the how remote we are up here. This is off grid to me. Um, I tried uh, talking about in my other videos, basically what it's like. It's not as easy as it used to be, um, as far as finding land and that kind of thing, about some of the stuff you run into. Because, you know, I'm not here to uh, convince you to move out off-grid or, or do any of that. I just want to give you a, a glimpse into the life of a couple old, you know, wilderness hermits, you know, living 90 miles from civilization, any real form of civilization, and what it's like, and why we've done it, and why we feel it's, it's so enjoyable. Um... So, you know, be careful of, of who you follow, you know. Uh, I've known some wonderful spiritual teachers, and they uh, don't refer to themselves as teachers. And they don't encourage followers. Um, follow yourself, you know. I heard some interesting things, you know. Uh, when I was really hot and heavy into studying philosophy, one that really, really left an impact is right at the moment of death, you, you don't regret the things you've done. You regret the things you never allowed yourself to do. Wow, that hit me. Never allowed yourself to do for one reason or whatever or another. Another one is from the great uh, Chinese... Uh, 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 Taoist adept Lao Tzu I always loved this one <clears throat> when I let go of what I am I become who I may be <laughs> I give you that to think about and then this thing has gone on too long I probably won't even be able to upload it so I'm talking to myself yet again but at any rate take care my friends and please use critical thinking. Just question a few things, especially when you come across stuff. 
And it's like, if you see some nonsensical YouTube thumbnail, don't even click on it, okay? Please, don't click on it, okay? Because it just encourages them. And that's all the YouTube algorithm is going to start sending you on your feed is more of the same. You know, be careful if you click on this and you click like or subscribe. Jesus, you're probably going to be inundated by, you know, old fire of Hermes yakking and rambling away up in the wilderness. So take take care. Life is, uh, it's, it's just a laugh. You know, I find it amusing. Always find it amusing regardless of what happens to you. And remember, you can always laugh. That's always good to do. Bye.